right, well, I'm learning a crock pot meal, chicken and dumplings. Yeah. So what I do is I get four chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. I pan boil, which is you put them in a pan, just a little bit of butter in a non-grease pan or non-stick, sorry. And then you add your seasonings, add uh, a cup of water, you cover up your pan, and then you let that steam. Then you flip, you repeat on the same side or the other side. Uh, do not add any water. And the reason is, is because all the broth and everything is going to like take the juices. So you're making your own chicken stock. And your seasoning is already on your chicken, which I use red pepper and garlic seasoning. I use salt, pepper, and that's about it for my chicken. <laughs> and now this is the best chicken and dumplings ever. You're going to use one can of mushroom soup. You're going to use two to three carrots, and you're going to dice them up. You're gonna use two to three um, celery stalks, half an onion. You're gonna use five potatoes. I'd say medium, medium to large size. You're gonna dice them, and you're gonna put them in your crock pot. Once your chicken is fully cooked, you slice it into little cubes about this big, and you're gonna throw it in your crock pot. You're gonna add two to three cups of water to your chicken stock for a reason. And then you're gonna let it mix a little bit, add one more ta uh, tablespoon of butter, and then you're going to just let it cook for four hours. Yes, four hours, because on the last hour, you're gonna make your dumplings. And when you make your dumplings after stirring your, your crock pot, Make sure you make your dumplings, you plop them in there, and it's the easiest thing because at supper time, everything's done, it's prepped, it's ready to go. Just take a scoop, put it in your bowl, done. Now, you do not serve any of your chicken and dumplings until your dumplings are fully cooked, and you're gonna make it look like a, an airy cloud. So, like bread basically like how they should be cooked all the way through from the outside to the inside all right so for those who want to know how my chicken and dumplings turned out amazing now i don't know if you can see but look at all those air pockets that's what your dumpling is supposed to look like cooked all the way through and they're not supposed to be sticky on top. They're supposed to be nice, dry. They look like a biscuit. Now, the, the stew itself, well, I don't care. Mine's in a bowl because that's how I dished it up. But the stew itself, all the vegetables should be cooked. And matter of fact, let's see if we can get one. Oh, my God. That is actually really good. I did it. It's really good. The chicken is tender. Oh, we got a piece of dumpling. Oh my. Hands down winner. Hands down. Hands down. This would win in a freaking parade. Of loveliness, goodness, deliciousness. Um, I bet you anything. Them sports moms. They'd be dying to have your secret of this. Mm-hmm. I'm not even kidding. It is so good. Like, look at that chicken. I don't know if you can see it. Like. It's beautiful. It's flaky. It's tender. It's moist. It's not dry chicken at all. And I'm picky. I like my chicken to be not dry and full of flavor, just like I do with most of my foods. So, 
break it up a little bit. Okay. Mmm, it's so good. Overall, it's really good. And everybody in town is going to be wanting your secret stew of chicken and dumplings. Because that's what it is. Chicken and dumplings is a stew. My way, anyways. Now, put down in the comments, what do you want me to make next? Pizza, pizza pockets, beef stew, pork tenderloin. What do you want me to make? Put down in the comments. Do like and share this and give me a follow because I'll follow you back if you do.